But now we're going to send things over to Laura, who's standing by. Morning, Laura. Good morning, ladies. Uh, well, something pretty special is fermenting down at the Johnson Estate Wineries right as we speak. Take a look. We're here with Neil Kratzer of the Wine Room and Fred Johnson, a third generation owner of Johnson Estates. Neil, what are we doing here? Well, we wanted to come here today to introduce people in Western New York to one of the oldest wineries in all of New York State and introduce their fine quality of wines that I happen to sell at the Wine Room. And Mr. Johnson is kind enough for us to come here today and tell us more about what's going on here. Fred, tell us about your estate here. Well, estate is a, a fancy word, but we are the oldest estate winery in the state of New York, and estate in liquor law means that we grow all our own grapes. And so we control the process from beginning to end, from bud to bottle, which is important for wine quality. Tell us about the different types of wines that you bottle here. Three different types, essentially. We make the traditional European wines, Merlot, Cabernet, Riesling. We make the sweet New York wines, Concord, Catawba, which we're very proud of since we're in the middle of the Concord belt of 30,000 acres. And then we also make dessert wines like champagne, ice wine, port and sherry. And we're going to talk a little bit more about an ice wine today. Concord grapes are very versatile. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, as you know, here in western New York, we're in the center of the largest growing area, 30,000 acres of Concord and Niagara grapes. And so as New York's oldest estate winery, we had better make the best American, all American wines like Concord in the world. Now you also have something very special that you're producing this year. Tell us about your new sparkling ice wine. Well, we have been making ice wine for 15 years, and this year we're coming out with a sparkling rosé ice wine. And I believe we are certainly the only people in the United States doing this, and I think the only people in the new world, if not in the whole world. And for that, we are going to speak with expert winemaker Jeff Murphy. We're here with Jeff Murphy, expert winemaker. Jeff, tell us how you make the ice wine. Well, we take our two ice wines, uh, harvested at uh, 14 degrees Fahrenheit, blend them together. But then we actually add a specialized yeast. And this wine is made in the traditional French method of fermented inside of this bottle. And everything's done in this bottle, not in a, a tank somewhere. And how would consumers use this sparkling wine? Um, this is a great wine for uh, special occasions, after dinner, anything to mark uh, something special. When can we taste it? Um, well, it's still actually still fermenting in the bottle right now, but this will be available midsummer. So Neil will have it at the wine room? Neil will definitely have it as soon as it's released. Great. I'm very excited to taste that. 